Take two. The five objects on the table are stethoscopes. They're monaural stethoscopes. The stethoscope was the invention of René Lenec, a French physician, a well-known authority on thoracic diseases, who in examining female patients early in the 19th century found that percussion really was, was not effective, as, as uh, totally effective in diagnosis. So he rolled up a piece of paper, applied it to his patient's chests, and, and was able actually to hear sounds that the lungs made in, in, in different diseased states. This is a monaural stethoscope. Actually, this is a model of Lenach's original stethoscope. Um, and as you can see, um, it's really a wooden version of a rolled up piece of paper. Lenach published his um, discovery, if you want to call it that, of this instrument, and his application in, 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 in diagnosis in 1819. He made his first stethoscope in 1816, published his findings along with uh, clinical aids for physicians in 1819 in this book, which is from the Miner's Rare Book Collections, on Mediate Auscultation, published at Paris. And the book uh, is in two volumes, but as you can see that, that, that it's also illustrated with plates, and in this case, this particular plate, it's illustrating this particular stethoscope. The stethoscope took a couple decades to catch on. Um, it, it, this book wasn't published in English until 1823, um, it's spread progressively, but, but, but only gradually uh, throughout Europe and North America. And the original stethoscopes uh, were all mon monaural. These, these four instruments you see here are probably from the 1840s to the 1850s. The, they're made of, they can be made of metal, they could be made of wood, they might be made of animal substances such as horn, and, of course, the broad end is applied to the patient's chest, the small end to the physician's ear, and um, it, it was a very effective tool. Later in the century, of course, we get uh, the, the, bi the bioral stethoscopes, but uh, the principle is exactly the same, a very simple and very effective diagnostic tool. Do any of these um, stethoscopes have Rochester connections? Did they come from here, or someone around here? Or? I, I don't, we don't have the provenance in any of these, so we really can't say. We don't know that, that, that this stethoscope was used by a physician in Rochester, or it came from someone's home or office. Okay, thank Chris, you. you started out by saying that a physician, in having trouble listening to female patients, is there... Something well, it, more there that would be of interest to us. To I'm I'm not sure why, but but okay. but, but Lenek was, was originally found having trouble listening to uh, the lungs of his, or uh, getting accurate information from from percussion, hmm. and and um, it, but the instrument, of course, is equally applicable to, to both genders. Okay. Okay. It, it, it is it is. Uh, at this period in time, pulmonary tuberculosis, which is the most prevalent lung disease of, of the period, in fact it was right through the 19th century and even into the 20th century, um, was thought to occur in young females, was more likely to occur in young females than any, any other group, age group or, or gender. Hmm. So that, that, that probably could have had something to do with that. Interesting. That you see more female patients. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.